Yo, 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 this is Will with Furnerology giving you my review of the Nexus 6P after one year. Now guys, the Nexus 6P is the phone of all phones when it comes from Google. If you're looking for the experience that fans of Apple have where you have a hardware-based device that gets direct updates from that manufacturer, a Apple or a Google, for example, well, then it's a great phone for you. I mean, I personally love the fact that I can get beta um, updates and then I can try out Nougat, for example, before anybody else can. Uh, God forbid you're a Samsung fan and have to wait forever, you know, eight, eight months, uh, nine months, maybe even a year to get the update that almost everyone else has been on for a long time. That's just a big appeal for me. That's why I went for the Nexus 6P. I previously was on an iPhone 6S Plus, so I'm not an Android fanboy. I'm not an Apple fanboy. I just love cell phones, and I'll switch them up. I may get the 7 for my phone. We'll see. Um, but right now, the 6P is a great device. Now, would someone buy it right now, right around the corner when six, uh, the uh, Pixel is coming out? We'll see. We'll see. But Take a look at that real fast. The one thing I'll say it's very annoying with the 6P is that it still does have auto-rotate automatically. Just come on randomly at all sorts of times. Uh, it does have fantastic RAM management, unlike, again, Samsung. So this has 3 gigs of, uh, of RAM, and it utilizes it buttery, buttery smooth. It utilizes it very well. Now, I'm not hitting on Samsung. I'm not saying Samsung sucks because they make some beautiful devices, and they have the best screens on the market. But... TouchWiz just kills me. I can't stand the fact that TouchWiz is so damn slow. Whereas pure Android, yeah, boring, but it just is buttery smooth. You can open up buttons real fast. You can scroll through real fast. I don't get forced close errors like I got every single day with the Samsung device. Again, Samsung's fantastic. Hell, I used to work for them just about a year ago. So I sold Samsung devices, and I think they're great. But this Nexus 6P is just a beautiful device. Now, if you look at it, it does have a 5.7 inch QHD, which is the 1440 by 2560 AMOLED, and it does have the 518 PPI. The screen looks fantastic. It's the it's the uh, the nits, I think it is, the, the brightness that doesn't come ex exactly close to a Samsung device. Now, the screens on the Samsung are beautiful. And it's, it's just how bright they are, and I just love how those look. This isn't bad by any means. It just doesn't seem like it gets just as bright. For some people, that may not be an issue at all. Again, with the software updates and just this being so buttery smooth, I will take this over uh, Samsung and other devices that have skins on it all day long. But, again, look at this thing. I mean, it's still the metal and glass design. Uh, the glass is only at the top there where the, the hump is for the camera and the antenna. The rest is metal, but it does it does feel nice. I have to wear a case on this thing, so I'm not rocking a case, uh, as you can see right at the second, but it is needed. You will slip and slide with this thing all day long. So, you know, take that for what it's worth, but, but get a case for it. Now, other things that this guy has, you have an 8 megapixel camera up front, and you have a 12 3 megapixel camera on the back, uh, 12 megapixel in general. It's a 2.0 aperture and it does have a laser autofocus and it captures 4K video, 240 frames slow motion video capture, which again is fantastic. Uh, I keep going back to the Samsung thing. I love the cameras on Samsung, they just seem to work better. Uh, you know, I, you could try different apps for uh, the next 6P. The camera's not bad. It really isn't. It does work very well, but I just like the options you have with Samsung and the cameras that they offer on their phones, but uh, to each its own. You'll be able to get what you want out of this uh, phone with, with the camera. You can double tap the side button, uh, the power button, and get to camera really fast. And, um, you know, it's, it, it, it's a great camera. Definitely try it out. You can see here we're going to try to look around at settings. And it's, it's again, this is Nougat I'm running, Android 7.0. And here's the uh, the screen here with all the settings. Now this is a 32 gig phone. I'm uh, using up just, what, 
eight gigs or something like that. Nothing too crazy. Run an Android 7.0 here and get into that little nougat screen. You can take a look at that. Now when you do tap, I have it already uh, activated, but you can get that little cat that you can feed and do all that good stuff with. I never really messed around with it. I didn't see the point, but you know, it's a fun little Easter egg for you guys. Now this does take USB type C, which is now on the Nexus uh, or on the, um, the Note 7. And uh, USB type C is, is a great welcome. I love to be able to put in the, uh, uh, geez, look, there's my phone going off and off. Um, I really do like being able to put that cord in either way, which is fantastic. I love being able to do that. And then, um, again, with the buttery smooth, I mean, of course, this is my internet speeds and, and whatnot, but, you know, other devices, you open up YouTube, crash error. Here, you know, it's just working well. Here's my channel. You can see on my phone, Fernerology, trying to get that subscriber base up, so subscribe if you have uh, have not. But... Uh, again, guys, overall, fantastic phone. It's got the fingerprint sensor, which is probably better than any phone I've ever used. Again, I've I, the iPhone has uh, got a fantastic one, but I just I love how the speed of the fingerprint scanner on this phone. Now, open up that camera app again. You guys take a look. You got some basic functions here. Shutter speed is horrible. I mean, it took forever. I'm sure I can change that and do whatever I need to. And use, again, I can use probably different applications for this. But um, the the camera is 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 not bad. I took this thing to Vegas and I took some photos. It just seemed like, seemed like it took forever to try to take photos. So I didn't take as many as I wanted to. They did come out great. Uh, I just had that issue of basically uh, how long it took to actually capture now, uh, overall, guys, again, this is a phone that I would highly recommend. You do have real fast battery life. You have a 34, 50 milliamp battery, and the battery is is good. It really is good. It's it's better than any of the phones that have skins on them. Uh, but uh, I really do like the uh, the battery life on this thing. It, it's it's nice. Uh, the the fast charging with USB Type C is great. I do wish that the Nex, uh, Nexus or whatever is Pixel, whatever they're going to call it, has wireless charging and hopefully water resistance because I can't um, see myself getting another phone without water resistance. I absolutely have to have it. I'm around water all the time, and I think that would be a big plus. Now, um, again, overall, guys, if you're going to try to buy a 6P right now, which is what, September of 2016, by all means, it's still a fantastic phone and it's still going to get updates and still going to work just as well as any other phone out there. Um, but, you know, if, if the Pixel 6P is right, or 6, whatever they're going to call it, the Pixel, it's right around the corner, hold off, see what it, uh, see what happens. It's supposed to come out on October 4th or be announced. So take a look at it and let's see, uh, let's see what they, what Google has in store. But guys, if you like this video, subscribe and I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is Will with Fernerology. And I'm out.